What you guys got another malware removal video here for you. In this one we're going to be removing malware from a very heavily infected system. Now this system is not booting as you can see. What's going to happen is it gets to the welcome screen and then we just get a black screen. And this is common with uh, heavily infected systems, malware, could be a rootkit, could be all sorts of stuff on this system that's stopping it from booting. So you'll see in a second it will go to a black screen and then we will try and get into safe mode. So I'm going to show you some procedures that you can do to try and combat some of these issues that you may have. So you can see it's trying to load and it just won't boot in. It just won't load up. Okay, I And mean, you can leave this here for a while and it just continuously does the same thing. Now there's something stopping that from loading up. Okay, And that is an infection on the system. Now it isn't always infections that's causing this, it may be a Windows issue, but I know this is definitely a, a malware related issue or rootkit or bootkit or something like that, or maybe even just viruses. So let's have a look at how we can deal with it. So let's try and get into safe mode. Now I've been tapping F8 on the keyboard to get into safe mode and what we can do here, we can choose any of these here. Now it blocks you on all of these, this particular type of infection. So we're going to try safe mode with networking. Okay, we've got the same thing here. Get into the welcome screen in safe mode. And it's taking a long time. It's just hanging there for quite some time. It just doesn't want to do anything in safe mode either. Oh, there we go. It's just going to hang there, I think. Yep. Um, so you've got a couple of options here. You can either use live CDs, like Kaspersky or something like that, and do a full scan. I'm just going to quickly boot up into a live CD and just to have a little look at the system. Okay. So let me just uh, load up. A Kaspersky here. So let's boot up to a Kaspersky Rescue CD. Just going to push one to accept the agreement here, and we're going to go into graphic mode. There's about 300 odd megabytes in size, about 350 something like that in size to download. Now you must obviously have another computer to download this. But these types of infections are pretty difficult to uh, remove. So I'm just going to quickly uh, continue here. Okay, so we've recovered that. Now we can do scans here as well. Um, that's also a good thing to start off with, just to free up the system a little bit. And we're going to have a look inside the C drive here. We'll just have a quick mosey around to see what we can find. Now what we're looking for is infected files. Again inside this roaming area this is where a lot of stuff congregates and uh, what you can do is you can view this um, by date so you can sort by you see by name and if you put by date as well and you can click on uh, de details and what that's going to do is give us some idea of when it was installed on the system so we can see here we're looking at some infected files here, these ones here. So we'll just delete these files, okay? We're just going to get rid of that. So what you want to do here is just have a good look around at some of the files and have a look at the uh, names and dates when they've been entered in. And uh, be very careful what you're deleting and stuff like that, okay? 
Um, but I can see here there's an item here. And there's also another one right next to it, which is the same time. And that is a virus. So what we're doing is we're looking to remove uh, these particular types of files just so we can free up the system, okay? Now this does take a bit of uh, experience to know what's dodgy and what's not. You need to have good uh, knowledge of the operating system. So we're just gonna delete those two folders. There's another folder here, you can see, with some dodgy files inside there, and that one is gonna go as well. There's another folder here, as you can see. We're going to remove that. You don't see folders named like that. It's very rare. This one looks familiar. And you can see they're all roughly around the same time when they've been uh, getting installed on the system. So this is the way I like to remove viruses manually and uh, have a good look around. So I'm going to delete that one. Again, this is another item here. We'll just free up that. There's some more stuff here. You can get the general idea now. You're looking for really weird names and look at the times when they're installed all roughly around the same time, which makes these dodgy viruses. So I'm going to get rid of that one. There's another one here. Just take your time, okay? Now, it does take time to remove uh, these particular infections from the system, as you can see. Okay. So we're getting somewhere now. You can see there's a heap of infections on this system. There's another empty folder there, but we're just going to get rid of that because that looks dodgy. And this one is another one. And this one. And that's definitely not Skype, as you can see. These files are not related to Skype at all. So we're just going to oik those out. Again, looking at the... Now, don't get too ambitious and start deleting too much stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do is go back here. Now you can see inside this folder here, there is also other dodgy stuff lurking, as we can see. Now, again, you can run scans. You don't need to be doing what I'm doing. Uh, but if you are familiar with the operating system, you know what's dodgy and what's not. If you're not, then run scans, okay? Do it the safer way. Um, but this one is definitely going to be uh, moved out. So let me just quickly go here again. And I want to put this in as details. Once I get this in as details, I can then again see that we have got files, executable files, that are now on that same time scale when they were all installed. Now once we start removing some of these, the system should be back under our control and we should be able to get to the desktop and that's the old aim of this process is to get back to the desktop so we can run scans like Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro and all these other good tools that will mop up the rest of this stuff. So this is the worst case scenario when you're in a non-bootable environment you can't get to the desktop or anything or safe mode it's very very tricky. So we're just going to keep tackling these uh, files here as I'm looking at the dates and times okay so we've done all inside there and the uh, next one we're going to do is into local and I'm just looking here inside the temp folder we've got a temp folder here and you can see this is laden with uh, infections as well now don't worry about deleting stuff inside temp folders. You can see there's tons of stuff inside here. These are all infected files. You can see something's tried to put notepad with an E on the end of it, which is bad. And again, you can do the same thing, the same trick, where you can go into details, 
and you will see if you wanted to spend a bit of time you could look at these files and you can see that they've been created all around the same sort of time when I did all these infections okay and there's some nasty P, uh, PDF files here which are infected these are all infected files as you can see quite a lot so I'm not going to sift through these at one at a time I'm just going to go all the way up to the top here highlight all those I'm just not going to delete uh, the VirtualBox guest editions and I'm just going to delete those so what I want to do next is we can do a quick update on this one and what we'll do is run a scan so we'll let that update we'll go back in and see if we can find any more stuff here so what we'll do is go back into uh, the user accounts into that account that's infected and already I can see something here and here so I'm going to do those away can't get more blatant than trojan.exe and I can see inside here we have files that are infected also you can see the date and the time seven items inside here and these are now going to be removed visual basic script there so that's going to be uh, moved to trash again this is another one inside here another infection so we'll just remove that to trash okay trash has reached its maximum size so let's just uh, look at the scanner here we're just going to quickly do a scan on the system now we've updated and we'll just let this scan go and as you can see it's already finding loads of stuff so we'll let this run and we'll come back when this is complete okay so why that scanning what I'm gonna do is open up the uh, file manager and deal with the issue with the trash and uh, we can delete the biggest files from trash and uh, or the oldest and that will allow us to delete files if we wish and we can see there's some file still here which we can delete and it should allow us to delete those now like so a lot of these will be getting deleted um, by the scanner so I'm just going to quickly do the rest of these in the temp folder which we had trouble removing all of them because the uh, recycle bin was full so we'll just quickly uh, delete all those again it's done the same thing disk full and I think the, the trash part we can up the trash size I suppose we'll just limit that, we're not going to limit it turn the limit off and we'll go back into our temp file and continually delete all those again I can see some viruses inside here as well just before we do that just let me uh, put details in just to make sure 
and again these two are or these three are infections so we'll delete those go back and we're going to app data local and temp go back there and finish off the rest of those and we'll delete them okay can't delete that log file so I think that's why so let's delete those there we go res icon okay can't delete those let's get that thumbnail like so We'll just let the scanning process uh, finish off. It won't let me delete these. So that's the finish now, as you can see. So we'll let this finish and uh, we'll remove them and give the system a reboot. Okay, so that's the scan now complete. It wants to go through and delete these um, files. And you can see the here in the root directory, so it's saying quarantine is recommended. So we'll quarantine that. Always do uh, what the recommended says. It's just those two there. And uh, again, it wants to quarantine this one, so we'll do that. Now you can apply this to all the all the above if you wish. I just want to go through and see what they are. Okay, that's the scan now complete. So I'm going to exit out here and we're going to reboot the system. I'm going to shut it down and restart our system. So hopefully this will restart. Okay, so we've now managed to get back to the desktop and uh, free up the system. So just by doing that uh, manual removal process and also running the scan, we've managed to get our system back to the desktop which now we can run other scans okay so what we want to do here now is run Malwarebytes and we're getting um, permissions we do not have appropriate permissions so let's try and download something else and uh, what we'll try and do first is run Hitman Pro. Let that run. Okay, so we've got here Travago and some other stuff on the system I can see.
Okay, so we're going to delete those here. I will leave that uh, Travago, we'll remove that with ADW Cleaner. I think that will be the best bet for that one. And uh, we'll just quickly go next on this. Delete fouled. Delete on reboot. Okay. So we're going to quickly reboot. Okay, so let's uh, get ADW cleaner. And uh, what we're going to do is run the uh, junk where removal tool. Okay, so that's found a conduit on there. And what we'll do is run ADW cleaner as well. Except, this looks like the French version or something. So, what I'm going to do here is quickly run a scan. And we're going to hit the uh, clean button here. Then we restart. Okay, so that's now done. I'm going to go to settings here, extensions. Going to re reset the browser settings here. Okay, that's done that. Good. So let's uh, try. Um, Okay, let's give TDSS Killer a quick go and find out whether there's anything on the system here. Just going to quickly verify these. And then scan. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's uh, give a uh, road killer a bit of a run here. Okay, so now we have the let's check here. So it looks like the MBR code's been changed. So we'll we'll check that out and um, you can see here we've got some uh, links here. So what we're going to do is uh, fix. I'm going to delete those. Going to fix the host. And there we go. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, fire up auto runs here and we'll have a quick look to see what is on there. So 
So we're going to be looking in there first. Going to delete that. Okay, let's get tweaking uh, .com's repair tool out here. And we'll just quickly uh, have a look at this. We're going to re reset the registry permissions and file permissions. And we'll do this one. I will repair the proxy just in case. Don't need to worry about that. We'll do the file associations just in case. I don't think we need to. Well, in fact, I won't do those. And uh, we'll run these and let this uh, do its job. Okay, that's now complete and we're going to restart. Okay, that's the restart completed there. And uh, what we're going to do here next is um, I'm going to open up uh, Malwarebytes here. Now, we've had problems opening Malwarebytes, but we could try, um, let's see, we could try the the chameleon. Okay. Okay, inside the chameleon folder, we're going to try and run it from there. I'm going to update this. It's got the latest definitions, and we're going to do a quick scan with Malwarebytes. The system is already feeling a lot more smoother and faster since we've been removing all those malware and the infections and that's the scan results and he finished and we've got 17 results so we've still got some bits I can see the to do there that's my zip folder with uh, infections on it so I'm not going to bother with that but all the rest we're just gonna get rid of those As you can see, removed. Okay. Now there is a program that I want to run, which is this one. We're just going to get the latest definitions for ASWMBR just to make sure there's nothing. Um, that's on the MBR there. And that's the scan now finished there as you can see. We've got the log we can check on that system. Unknown MBR code. So we're going to rewrite a new MBR just like so. It's just verifying. So that's now been fixed, as you can see. So we'll just exit out of that. And we're just going to run a quick scan with that again. And there you can see the MBR code has got the default Windows 7 MBR code now. So that's been put back. Now just to finish this off, I would also run um, ESET Online Scanner. But the system is now coming back and uh, it's a lot more smoother 
and uh, I would just you know just check out some other bits and pieces really but all in all that's basically the system back up and running we've got a nice clean running system um, and that will be about it for this video I think so it's been a bit of a long video but I wanted to cover uh, as much as I could trying to get this back up and running okay so there would be some bits and pieces that I would still do but other than that the system I think is in good shape so anyway, so I'm going to call it done. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for sticking around, and thanks for your support. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye for now.